Anyway, so now that I got the letter portion of uh, what's in the box done, now it's actually time to move on to the packages. Now this one I'm actually really excited for, so... Let's start with this one from uh, Sender, Howells. Simon! And I know this is you, Simon, because this is from England. Read letter first. Cool, it's a CD about read letter first. Oops. Oops. Hold on a sec. Okay. Hello again, Animat. I was really struggling on what gift I should send you for the next episode of What's in the Box, until I heard the news that Harry Shearer has left The Simpsons, which gave me the idea of rummaging through my VHS collection again to find a documentary and quiz show on the day that The Simpsons made the move from the BBC to Channel 4 on November 2004. Hope you enjoy both both of them, and I have a question I did post on your Facebook for your for your May update, but failed to make it on the video, so I thought I'd to ask on this letter. Okay. With, I'll, I'll actually answer this now. With Sean the Sheep movie, Underdogs, a, aka The Unbeatables, and El Americano, the movie, coming to the US and Canada this August, which film do you think will do better at, at both uh, the advertising on TV ads, film posters, and website articles grossing for the box office. Uh, enjoy your new gift. I'll see you later, mate. <laughs> yes, that's the British way of, of doing your catchphrase. <laughs> see you Simon Howells. Yeah, Simon. <laughs> that would be funny, actually, if I like the British version of me going, see you later, mate. <laughs> uh, but anyways, um, wow, that's actually a really good question, but, you know... I really don't know, honestly. You know, the sad truth, I can imagine underdogs probably doing well, because normally with stop motion films, they usually go up to like a hundred million, that's it. So I don't really see Shaun the Sheep being a major blockbuster hit, but like, like I'd probably go with underdogs, but in an ideal world, I would love to see Shaun the Sheep be making the most money in August. So we'll see. So yeah, definitely. So yeah, I so yeah, I definitely got to go check out the uh, the Sim this Simpsons documentary that you sent me, and maybe I'll put it in a much uh, I'll I'll put it on a jewel case that's uh, not broken. Actually, I'll do that myself. So thanks, Simon. That's really awesome. So next up, uh, I'll start with you. You seem soft. Three sums from Amy Collins. Three sumsums. I got three. I got three sumsums. It says three sumsums in there, so hold on. Yeah. I got sumsums. I got sumsums. Impressions of Liverpool. Dear Animat, thank you for reading my letter. I show, um, I show it was really, uh, the show was really funny when you got got to the big four part. I, I got you some Tsum Tsums. I hope you like it and they wouldn't be trouble. Sincerely, uh, see you soon, Amy Collins. Holy crap, but this is amazing, actually. You know, the funny thing is, actually, yeah, look at these. I got the three main. I got Mickey, Donald, and Goofy. No, but you know what's actually funny is that uh, not too long ago, I went to New York City and I actually got my first set of Tsum Tsums. Hold on, actually, I got them right here. Check it out. I got the entire. I decided to go and buy the entire set of um, of uh, Inside Out. I got joy, anger, sadness, disgust, fear, and I got Bing Bong. So yeah, this is definitely a nice new addition. So I'm really happy for it. Oh, and by the way, guys, um, you might notice also the new. Oops, you might also notice the new addition uh, in my wall, which is a poster of Inside Out. Like, if you guys haven't seen the movie, definitely go see it. So. Thank you very much. I, uh, thank you very much for the Tsum Tsums. Yay, I got Tsum Tsums. And they're the right size, too. Oh, it feels, it feels great. So, uh, I guess I'll go with you because you fell. And this comes from... Uh, it comes from Australia. This came from Australia. Holy crap. Oh, here it is. Uh, Lachlan uh, Tomasini from Australia. Holy crap. Press down to firmly seal. Yeah, I don't want to seal it. I want to open it. Like so. I hope I didn't rip crap. There. Oops. <laughs> I think I ripped a part of the letter. 
fruit. A candy bar. Hope it's not. That's before. Um, I'm kind of worried about the expiration date. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, I don't know if. Yeah, I'll try. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it, but. Um, I hope this means. Uh, does this mean it's. Did it expire on April 8th or on August 4th? I don't know. I'm kind of scared. Kind of scared about this. Um. Uh, dear Animat, uh, you may not know me, uh, you may or may not know me as one of the guys who posted frequently in the Animat Fan Club Facebook. I am 17 and live in NSW, Australia. The first video I ever saw from you was the top 5 best and worst animated films of 2011. I was typing in best animated films of 2011 and saw your video thumbnail and thought, eh, why not? Ever since then, I watched more of your videos and became very intrigued with your work. As an animation fan like myself, it's really cool to see someone put in so much effort into making an entire channel about this particular medium. I even It even inspired me to make my videos myself. If the Animat seal of approval was mine, I definitely paste it on your channel. <laughs> I have a few questions to ask. All right. I noticed on your Patreon account that you soon might reach $1,000 a month, thus a gaming channel. When this happens, uh, what games do you in uh, intend to play? Uh, I do hope for Five Nights at Freddy's. Well, honestly, we'll just have to wait and see. Like, if you guys want to happen, then j then go support my work at uh, patreon.com slash animat and, like, let's try to reach that $1,000 a month goal. So, like, I need your help for that. So, to answer your question, I need your help. Um, it'll be a very, very long time before this actually happens, but what will you do once you've reviewed every classic animated film out there? Okay, well, that'll be d Well, I guess if I reviewed every classic film, I guess that'll be it for Animat's classic reviews. I'll just go on with the Animat's reviews and animation look back, I guess. Uh, what's your favorite video that you have done? Um, well, I guess I'll, for now I'll just answer the Escape from Tomorrow review. Uh, could you give us a tour of your home and or workplace? No. Uh, maybe in form of a video, but not in real life. Other than that, uh, please stay awesome. I've always been- I'm always keen to see new videos for you. P.S. Please find and close a, photocop a photocopy version of a picture I drew from my visual arts class of the Trafula Tree Valley from, do from the Dr. Seuss novel The Lorax. P.P.S. Please also find and close of an Australian chocolate bar called Cherry Ripe. Thanks from Latchland. Uh, <laughs> sorry Latchland, uh, I think, uh, I think I kind of screwed up a bit. I think, like, I ate a bit of a piece, like... Kind of ripped a bit, sorry, but it is very nice, I gotta say. Really nice truffula trees, I gotta say. I'll be very honest, I'm scared of the chocolate bar. If it's August 4th, then maybe I'll try a bit, but eh, I don't know. I'm scared. I'm scared if it's expired, so. Alright, next up, let's try this box. And it's from Willie Okendo. And there's stuff inside. This should work. Ah. There we go. Oh, and it has a flash drive. Oh, and it has stuff in it. Okay. Whoops. The laughing hy the laughing hyena sound I have is from the Cartoon Tracks Volume One Sound Effects Library, containing Jim uh, uh, Jim McDonald Disney sounds and some new sounds uh, released by Hollywood Edge. Oh, and they got a flash drive. Look, I got a USB key. Awesome. What's this? Hi, Animat! Willie here again. Sorry for the last time in your previous What's in the Box episode that you didn't get the 8 gate flash drive I sent you in an envelope. I guess the people who worked at the post office uh, must have took it out, which I find very stupid. Anyways, I have a new 8 gate flash drive for you uh, that has the same content. And it has a lot, and it's pretty much all the anime stuff. Alright, cool! As I said before, the, uh, these are my favorite animes, and I hope you will enjoy them and will hopefully inspire you to do an animation look back on these animes called Animation Look Back, the best of anime. Contact me anytime to tell me what you think uh, about them. All right, so, wow, really awesome. Okay, I got the flash drive. I got the flash drive this time, Willie. Thank you very much. And I'm really happy that you include the laughing hyena done by uh, Dallas McKinnon, so I'm really happy about it, so thank you so much. Finally, okay. Willie, we're good. We got the flat. I got it. <laughs> I got it right here. Here's the proof. Okay, there we go. Anyways, next up, 
we got this. Uh, it's from Sam Snyder. It feels soft. It really feels oddly soft, I gotta say. Oh my god. Uh, what the? Uh, oh boy, oh boy. Um, <laughs> he actually wrote on the package. Okay. Uh, if I can open this, it's honestly kind of hard to read. But anyways, I'm gonna open it. Sorry, sorry, Sam. It's just a little hard to uh, to read it a bit. Like maybe next time, try to have it written on the package. So, I got I got another flash drive, and I got what's this? Oh. Ah, oh, there he is. Here's my school picture, which I wore my seal of approval shirt. I know that I did not mention this in in the main letter, mainly because oh oh. Oh, hold on. In my main letter, because this was a last-minute add, add-on, like I said, on the envelope. But I think it is worth noting that uh, your show has done my, uh, has done my then entertain people, but it made me want want to wear it in high in high school pictures so that more people might know about you, or at least they have, or at least they have. Uh, see see you in some way. Huh. Yeah, awesome. Check it out. And we got Sam right here, and it, it is the anime seal of approval shirt. <laughs> kind of fits, don't it? <laughs> okay, so actually, okay, so we do have a letter, so. And it's a big, lengthy letter. Holy crap. Okay, so. Uh, dear Animat, hi, it's me, Sam again, the guy, the guy who gave you that Disney calendar two episodes back here to give you another present. I originally wanted to give you this in the previous episode, but I could not find the time. As you continue to make more and more great videos, I think it's nice to be rewarded with a new P.O. Box show that you have created. So I just wanted to give you something awesome as a gift for all that hard work, which is a plaque of the famous Walt Disney quote that I wanted to give you uh, so it can inspire you to live your dream in becoming a Disney Park voice actor. Aww. <laughs> I also have a picture of Miss... A picture of Mr. Robotnik that I think you will find funny. I was also wondering if you can answer five questions. Uh, do you think the Wii is as bad as people make it out to be? No. Uh, do you want uh, Do you want to become an animator or a voice actor in the f in your future? Um. Well, you never know. But for now, I would like to be a, a voice actor. What do you think is worse, where the get dead go to die or Bratz? I'm now probably leaning more towards Bratz the movie. Believe it or not. Uh, why do you not talk about the songs in your Equestria Girls review? It's not really a musical, and there are not a lot of musical numbers. Uh, will you do more commentaries on your videos? Uh, maybe, actually. Alright, and we got... What? <laughs> this is, like, horrifying and hilarious at the same time. Just look at this. Beauty and the Pingus. Oh my god, I'm actually a huge fan of Pingus, actually. <laughs> I gotta hang it up somewhere. Like, I know there's gotta be a place I gotta hang this, so... Thank you very much, Sam! This is actually really nice! Okay, so next up... Well, I might as well go with this one, so... I don't know who this is from. Oh! Pull tab to open. Ah, how convenient. Okay, so... It's another DVD box. Ever since that rat at toying one, I have trust issues. Uh, dear Animat, uh, you might know an entertainer named Michael Jackson. He used to love this fil film as a kid and even inspired the song Ben. Jackson Hyde 21. Oh. I think I might know what this is, actually. Shortcut. No! 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 I have Ratatouille again! No! I, I already have one! I don't need another! I don't need a freaking other Ratatouille! Go away! I get Ratatouille again! Why? I don't need- I already have one! One is freaking enough! Next one! God's sakes. And the, oh, it's Kevin again! Okay! And it's fragile! Okay, I hope it's not broken. Okay, so let's see. Oh! And to start things off, I got Thomas and the Magic Railroad. Alright, that's an interesting start, I gotta say. Is there an envelope? Or maybe that was the envelope, actually, so... 
Uh, let's see. I'm going to start out. Please don't throw away this box. This is part of the gift. Okay. I won't. Please keep this gift uh, in the box for safekeeping. Hello, Matt Brunet. Since uh, we're huge Walt Disney fans, have you watched the brand new Mickey Mouse TV show? If not, then here it is. I hope you'll enjoy, enjoy it as much as the old Mickey Mouse cartoons. I actually am a fan of the Mickey Mouse cartoons, actually, so... What do I open? Oh my god, too much scotch tape. This is my en This is the enemy of what's in the box. Scotch tape! I swear to god. What do I open? Mm. Go animal. I have to go animal on it. Oh my god, I gotta, I gotta check these out. I love it. Okay, next up, we got another one. Uh, after your disappointing Hotel Transylvania, I thought this could bring you a happy smile on your face. I hope that you'll enjoy this great, uh, this great special of House of Mouse. Alright. So let's see, with this one, I got... Oh! I got the House of Villains! Oh my god, I remember the House of Mouse being a great, great show. Like, it was, like, it was an amazingly good show. I think I actually have this on VHS, actually, so. So yeah, it's nice to know that I got on DVD, so thank you very much, Kevin, for these three DVDs, so. Holy crap, this is awesome. Next up, we got this big box. Eh, actually, I'm gonna start off with this small box. Please, let this not be another Ratatouille! Dear Animat, you help... You helped inspire BBC to release the Shut Up Edition. Chris Atrada. Really? Alright, let's see. Oh! Oh, it's a Blu-ray! Oh, I got walk- uh, I got Walking and Dinosaurs in 3D. But, let me be very honest with you guys. Um, some of my friends, like James Sullivan and Morgan Ledger, they have seen the- the Shut Up Edition, or as it's called here, the Cretaceous Cut, it's literally, they just took out the audio, and it's, uh, it's not really as great as you think, but, no, I still understand the, the really kind gesture, um, really, thank you very much, Chris. Hey, it's nice that I got a Blu-ray of it, but, uh, <laughs> I still have issues with Patchy, I still, God say so. Next up, we got a box, we got an Amazon box, so, oh god, let's, okay. You got another one of these. Yeah. Got another letter. Got another one of these, so let's see. Hey Matt, I'm not sure you like bowling or not, but here is something that can help you improve your bowling technique, signed Regal Rocks. Bowling? Is there a bowling mover or something? I can feel the DVD out. This is a movie? This is literally a movie? Elf Bowling? Elf Bowling the movie? This is real? Oh, for God's sakes, why? Just, why? Oh my God. I don't get it. I don't, why? Just why? Okay, so, this is our finale. We got a big box here. Got this big box. And it comes from Eli Copeman, uh, Copperman, Copperman, something. If it comes from Eli. So let's see this big boy. The grand finale. And inside. Holy crap, we got a lot of stuff. Holy crap, we got a ton of stuff, so. Hey Animat! I hope you've been doing really well with your videos, and I hope you've been treating yourself good. Me and my family actually visited Montreal back in 2013, and we love it. I can see that you folks have great appreciation for art, food, monuments, and historical figures. Speaking of which, the art of Montreal is just mar marvelous. It's just beautiful, colorful, imaginative, and makes me, me just gouge my eyes with uh, glorious wonder. Um, one more thing. I'm now a bit skeptical on Inside Out. Since the newest trailer just looks like it's going in the direction I do not want it to go. How do you feel about it? Tell me. I just thought I'd che check on your whole on your old chum. Keep up the hard work. Okay, so alright, so I don't have time to read the questions and stuff like that. Damn. Alright. Well, here's a we got this. 
It speaks for itself, I gotta say! Okay. Okay, but anyways... No, seriously, guys, come to Montreal. It's really nice. So first off, we got... We got a DVD of Spongebob. Contains an extra special limited edition collector's card inside. Which I don't have. Great. So we got a Spongebob DVD. Next up, we got... Holy crap! This entire book of Asterix! Like, an entire Asterix... Like, an entire Asterix... Like, Omnibus 1. Like, holy crap, this is amazing. And since I'm from Montreal, we love our Asterix. And oh my god, we got... We got Squeakies! We got Squeakies! And I got- I found drawings! I found Shrek! I found the Pink Panther! I forgot his name, but I know he's in a Cartoon Network show. Holy crap, we got Squeaky's a duck! We got Bashful! Squeaky- Squeaky Duck! Squeaky Bashful! Squeaky Sneezy! Squeezy Dopey! We got... Squeezy Happy! Some of them are not even in the right colors! Squeaky Sneezy- Sne Squeaky Sleepy! And, of course, Squeaky Grumpy. All Squeakies. Skep seven Squeaky Dwarfs. And we got Duckies! We got Rubber Duckies! We got all the single Rubber Duckies! All the single Rubber Duckies! All the single Rubber Duckies! Look how cute they are! I got all the Rubber Duckies! I got the Rubber Duckies! Oh my god, Rubber Duckies! We got anything else in here. And finally... Oh, a flip book of Keith Haring. Cool. Is this it? Is this it? Well, that's pretty much it for what's in the box. So thank you guys so much. I want to thank everybody who has sent me a letter and a package. And um, this is actually really amazing. Thank you guys so much. And until next month, see you later, dudes. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Once again, I would like to thank everyone who participated and sent me letters, packages, and all sorts of stuff for what's in the box. If you would like to send me something and have it appear on the show, then send it to Animat, 3790 St. Charles, P.O. Box 96511, BP Brunswick, at Kirkland, Quebec, H9H 3C3. Thanks again for watching, and until next time, see you later, dudes!